Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this question, we'll be discussing impulse and momentum. And as we go through the question here, as we make a list of all the variables, the impulse they tell us for this little model rocket engine is rated at 3.5 kilograms times meters per second. And then they tell us that the mass of the little rocket is 120 grams. But of course we know that that's not in this SI unit, so we need to convert that over. So if we move that, the SI units are obviously kilograms, so we'll be moving the decimal place over three. So we have one, two, three, so it's 0 0.12 kilograms for the SI units for mass. And then they ask us, what is the final velocity? So that's what we'll be searching for. And since it's a velocity, we know the units are going to have to be in meters per second. And for the sake of the question, we're going to assume that since it starts from rest, that the initial velocity will be zero meters per second. So since we're discussing about impulse, let's write the formula for impulse and what it is. So we know J for impulse is equal to the change in the momentum. And the change in momentum is the mass times the change in velocity. So if we expand this out further, let's do a different color. J, since they're all equal to each other, J can also be equal to mass times the change in velocity, right? So now let's break that up even more. So J is going to be equal to the mass times delta is going to be velocity final minus velocity initial. So now that we have it all broken up, now we can solve for the final velocity here. So if we divide both sides by mass, we have v final minus v initial is equal to j over m, or the impulse divided by the mass. But like we talked about already, we know that the initial velocity is going to be zero, so that's gone. So the final equation is going to be velocity final is equal to j divided by m. So now that we have the equation that we solved for, let's just plug in our numbers. So v final is going to be equal to j, which we said was 3.5 kilograms times meters per second, divided by the mass, which in SI units is 0 0.12 kilograms. So now when we look at the units, we know that we need meters per second, and the kilograms will cancel out leaving exactly what we need, meters per second. So let's plug that into our calculator. 3.5 divided by 0.12. And as we round that, we'll have 29.17, or V final is equal to 29 meters per second.